Hello everyone! Today I'll tell you about the cowl neck design. You can make a top, a dress or even a sweater with such neck. I'll show you an easy and fast way to do it. As always, I transfer the front and the back from the basic pattern. I don't need to transfer a sleeve for a top. My basic pattern doesn't change. I've made it on the basis of my 10 measurement system. As I've already told you, the pattern doesn't change, because I don't change either. I'll cut out the front of the back and start designing. This video will be very useful. I put the basic pattern aside. People often have questions about the shoulder tucks. Here it is. I'm making a top, and the shoulder won't be wider than 6 cm, so I just ignore the tuck. I don't need it now. I cut 5 cm off the neckline on the back. You can cut as much as you want. I make a shoulder 7 cm wide. I cut the extra piece off. Do not forget that we shouldn't cut this place. The back is ready. This is the front. Here is the tuck. It matches me perfectly. Let me show you. You can see it. You can see that the armhole looks amazing. Have a look at what I'm doing. We usually move a tuck to the center front temporarily, but this time I do it for good. I've moved the tuck and closed the shoulder one. Notice that I haven't transferred the whole basic pattern. I took just 12 cm from the waistline. The top won't be long, because I don't need one. Have a look here. I cut 5 cm off the neckline. Now I do the same thing on the front. Now have a look here. I'll show you how I check what I'm doing. I put the center back and center front on the edge of the table. They are not even, so I've made a mistake somewhere. I've probably cut 4 cm off here. Do not ever continue working without checking what you've done. Again, I put the center back and center front on the edge, and you can see that these two points match. If they don't, do not try to gather them. You'll get the faults you don't need. The shoulder should be equal, so I cut a bit off here too. Notice that I don't cut this piece. This one. The pattern is ready. Notice how an armhole looks like. It should be a bit biased towards the front. No matter where you make a tuck, the armhole doesn't change. This is a form you should learn by heart. You should know it as well as an artist knows a cube or a circle. This armhole is perfect and it will fit me perfectly. Have a look at the form. I'm tired of the white color, so I found the piece of grey silk in our studio. I like the color, so I'll make it up longer. I think I'll add 10 cm. I'll pin and cut the back now. Then we'll make the cowl neck. You need to be very careful when working with silk. Try not to damage the fabric when pinning the pattern. 
Let's cut it. You may have noticed that I'm wearing a blouse, which I've recently showed you. I've already ironed and washed it several times, but it still looks good. I wear it both with the pants and with the shorts. Remember that we add just 5 to 7 mm for the seams on the curved places. I've already told you that a lot of times. I've made a notch on the waistline. I've added 10 cm here, so I also need to add 10 cm to the front. Have a look at the pattern. I've already put it on a fabric and pinned the bottom. I've moved the tuck here, so now I have an opening for a cowl neck on a center front. Now I need to decide how much I need for draping. I think I'll have 29 centimeters on each side. I put the measuring tape here to check. 29 centimeters are ok. So the whole cowl neck will be 58 centimeters wide. I'll take 28 or 29 centimeters. There should be 29 centimeters in between this point and the edge. Those who have smaller bust and as a result smaller tuck can make a cowl neck easily. Mine is too wide. You can see that I have 35 cm here. I can't make an neck 70 cm wide. It will look this way. Terrible. That means that I need to divide the tuck, leaving some space for a real one. Once again, I make a chest tuck to make the neckline narrower. Now have a look here. I need to get about 29 centimeters from this point to the edge. Everything is correct. I draw the line this way. I remind you that I had to move a part of the tuck to the chest. If your bust is smaller and you get a needed space here, you don't need this tuck. If you get the same opening as I do, you need it. Now I'll cut the front out. I haven't had any items with a cowl neck for a long time. I cut a small piece off here for a shoulder seam. I make a notch here, which marks the beginning of a shoulder. Remember that we add 5 mm for the seams on the curved places. I'll tuck the tuck, the side and the shoulder seams. And you'll see me wearing this top. I just show you how to make simple items for now. I make a notch on the waistline. Here it is.
Oh, I've forgotten to draw a tuck. It's pretty small. I've already tacked the center back. Now I finished taking the tucks. Remember that we take the tucks from the top. The opening is small because the most part of the tuck was moved to the cowl neck. I match and pin the side seams notch to notch. I start taking them. You'll see the top in a couple of minutes. You can see that all the parts match perfectly. Now I'll take the shoulders. You can see a notch here, which marks the end of the shoulder. The blouse is ready. I'll put it on and show you. I've put the blouse on. It's of the very simple design. You just need to move a tuck to the center front. If it's too wide, make it smaller. Open the tuck on the chest. Due to the fact that the blouse was made on the basis of the basic pattern, it fits me perfectly. Items should be stylish. You can see how good look the narrow shoulders. The blouse is very nice and light. You can make a dress the same way. Today I've showed you how to make a blouse, but you can attach the sleeves and make a warm dress. However, don't ever make a cowl neck with a one-piece sleeve. It looks terrible. Thanks to my 10 measurement system, I can always look different and beautiful. It doesn't take me long to design any item I want. Write the comments and ask any questions you have. I'll be happy to answer them. If you want to wear such blouse with a skirt, make it a bit shorter and tighter. Not too much, though. If you like the video, please share it. My name is Paukšte Irina. Subscribe to my channel. Goodbye.